Hi, and welcome to another full stack cloud developer mini course. In this set of lessons, we're going to build a blog from scratch. We're going to run it for free with no ads and no limitations. Don't worry if you're a beginner. You're going to learn everything you need to know about HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Java to build this blog from scratch. OK, let's get started. OK, blog features. What do we want on our blog? Uh, I want it to run for free. I don't want to pay for hosting um, or anything like that. And I also don't want ads on the blog. And I don't want limits. Um, I want to be able to do anything we want to do to this blog. Uh, add, ex add advanced features, uh, change themes, um, anything we want. So no limits. We're building it so we can build it that way. Um, easy to post blog articles. Distraction free um, is one way to say it. And that is I want to just be able to add a title, type out the content, and hit post. Um, so that's the first bullet there under simple inputs. Markdown plus HTML would give us the quickest, most flexible option for building a blog post. Um, HTML makes it basically limitless. We could do anything we want to with HTML. Um, and then uh, for those of us who don't know Markdown uh, or HTML, uh, very well yet, and we're learning, uh, a content editor um, with buttons for adding a header, adding a paragraph, adding an image uh, for beginners. So that way, we build this. And if you're a beginner, that's great, because you're going to learn how to do all of this. And what we'll do is have buttons that you can add um, the content. So you'll be able to just use simple inputs as well and get a blog out. OK, so then we want to be able to edit the posts, because we'll inevitably make a blog, put it out there, and notice a spelling error or something else like that. And we want to get back to it and change it and correct it. So we're going to need to edit posts as well as save a draft. I want to be able to work on a post and then get interrupted or just not have enough time, hit save, but not have it actually post to the internet. Uh, so that's called a draft. And we, we want to be able to save drafts, come back to it later on, finish it off, hit post, and go. Um, and then lastly, we want to be able to change the layout in the theme and the theme um, to anything we want to change it to. We're building it, so we have uh, control to do that. OK, so those are our features. Now, how are we going to do this? How are we going to run this for free with no ads and no limits? That's probably the most challenging piece. And so what's the lesson plan? So here's how it's going to be laid out. Each bullet's probably going to be a 10 to 20 minute lesson on here. What I'd like you to do is watch the video so that you get a good feel for it. And then do it three times if you have time for that. If you do it three times, it'll set in. You'll, the first time you do it, you're figuring it out. The second time you're doing it, you're kind of getting it. And by the third time, you might be able to get all the way through it with only referring back to it uh, a couple of times to say, what was that step again? Um, and by the third time, by the time you're done with the third time, you're probably going to think, oh, I don't want to do this again. And that's going to be a good point, because that means you know it. OK, so first part is going to be post a hello website on GitHub. And so that's the part where we go ahead and set up GitHub. Um, we're going to create an account. We're going to create a, um, a repo that has the same name that we set up the account under. So that way, it automatically becomes a website on GitHub pages. OK, so then um, we'll configure pages to the doc folder. And then we're going to make a simple HTML page. You don't have to know HTML to do this. We'll show you everything that you need to know in the um, as we make it, it's going to be really simple. It's probably like five lines that says hello, and that's it. So that'll get us the first page posted. And that's without even doing anything with an editor uh, yet. Uh, OK, so and then the next thing we need is the ability to create posts. And that's when we're going to use Spring Boot. So we're going to use Spring Boot um, to set up a local web application server on our machine. And then we're going to go ahead and create a simple editor probably just going to be a, a text area where we can type stuff into. Um, and then we're going to create a preview on the other side where it just looks at what's typed over here and puts it over there. And we're at first, we're going to do this uh, just using re regular HTML. And again, don't worry about learning HTML. You'll learn it as we go. You'll learn what we, as much as you need to know uh, to get it done. OK, and then um, we're going to post to our backend server using the Fetch API. So that would be JavaScript and the Fetch API, which posts down to a server. The server will be lo running locally, so there's no security issues. OK, and then um, on the next main bullet, uh, we're going to add the post to GitHub. So when we're done with our post, we're going to push the button in our preview or, or, or our editor. And it's going to post to our uh, server. 
And then our server is going to say, I got a post, and it's going to send it to GitHub using the GitHub API. And that's going to send directly into the docs folder. And GitHub's going to automatically build it and publish that page on the internet. So that gets us to the point where blog posts are up, but they're not going to look good. So this is where we're going to go ahead and add Bootstrap in. And that'll make the blog look decent. And we'll probably just go with the default theme initially just to make it look uh, decent enough. And then we'll um, uh, later on, uh, we'll make it look better when we try to add themes to it. OK, so that gets us through. We actually have posts running on the internet. That's the left column. The right hand side of the plan is we're going to add the ability to edit the posts like we mentioned in our features that we want. Um, and in this case, we're going to have to um, be able to fetch a blog post into our editor. So the website that's hosted by GitHub is the user just goes ahead and goes to your website and they can see it. For us in our editor, it's going to have to go and get that post and bring it back to us so that we can go ahead and make the changes. All right, so that's um, part of that. So that's loaded into the editor. And then uh, when we're done with that, we just push the post button again. And that should really be nothing to do. It should just post it from there. Or we could save it as a draft, but that would be strange because we already had it posted. And we made a change, so I think we just post it right away. But you'll have that option by the time we're done. OK, and so suppose you don't want to post up there anymore. And maybe this is one of those cases where we went ahead and took the uh, blog post down into our editor, made a change, but then decided we don't want to post it up there, which would be weird for your users, but you could do it. You delete the post, and it's still saved in your draft. And actually, they should be all the posts should be saved in a different location anyway, because that's going to be the source document. What's going to be posted on the internet and hosted through GitHub is going to be HTML. That's not necessarily what we typed in into our editor. So we want to keep the original version and then have the HTML version hosted. OK, and so um, to improve the editing experience on this, we're going to go ahead, and this is where we're going to add a markdown to the HTML that we're typing in. We might add another editor to it. Text area is probably kind of tough to type into. So we can actually add um, the editor that's behind VS Code into that. And we'll make that decision when we get there. It depends on how rough the um, text area is. And then after we do that, we're going to add editor.js to make it so that you don't have to know HTML or Markdown. You can just click and type. And that takes care of that part. Um, so this is, I actually uh, said the save to drafts location thing a little bit early. So uh, we already went over that one. And then the next thing is going to be, and that's actually the last thing, is going to be to add and switch um, Bootstrap themes. So we went with the default theme that just comes with Bootstrap. Then we're going to go to a website th um, that has Bootstrap themes and then learn how to actually swap that out on our blog to make it look different and change the layout. OK, and then we'll be done with all the basic features. And from there, you'll have the base to add anything you want, any, add any advanced features, and um, then just go ahead and you'll know how to do it. OK, and that's it. So what tools and languages are we going to use? We're going to learn to use um, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript on the front end, bootstrapped, as I just mentioned, for our themes and to make it look good, and the Fetch API, which is going to communicate with uh, our back end Java server. And remember, all of this stuff is going to be running locally for the part that's not the hosted part of the blog. The editor part of the blog is going to be running on our local machines. Um, so when I say that the Fetch API is going to be talking to the server, it's all going to be running on your machine. The server will be Spring Boot. The back end will be written in Java. And it's going to talk to the GitHub API to save the posts as a draft or to save them as an actual post that goes into the folder that, is, that the website is hosted on. And that's through the GitHub API. So usually a um, three-tiered architecture, they, the way they talk about it, is a front end and a back end and a database. So the GitHub API is basically going to substitute as our database in this case. And the tools we're going to use are Maven. So Maven's a build tool for Java. And it's going to um, we make a change, we build it, and then run it. Uh, GitHub, uh, that's the GitHub API. And it's also going to be our hosting uh, service. And Visual Studio Code is what we're going to use as our local editor to make the code. And we're going to actually be building a blog editor at the same time. I wanted to tell you about a video that I made about a month ago 
that teaches you how to set up a Java development environment on your local machine. And I used Windows 11 for this. Um, and you're going to set up uh, a, a few uh, tools. Uh, we're going to set up Java. We're going to set up uh, Maven. Docker is optional. I, I, I wouldn't set up that part of it, so don't do Docker. Uh, and then Visual Studio Code um, is another thing that we're going to set up. So just go ahead and follow though that tutorial. I will put a link to it down in the um, in the comments below. Or actually, you're going to comment if you have any questions. I'm going to put the link in the description below. And basically what this does, it runs you through um, how to set up these four things. And there's links right down below on this page. So the link will be in the description of this introduction uh, video, along with other links that I'm going to put in there. Um, and then you're just going to go ahead and click on each of these links. Again, just um, don't bother with Docker right now. Docker would be used for other lessons, but not this one. Um, and then so just do those, the, the first three. And Visual Studio Code is actually going to take care of Java and it's going to take care of our front end as well. So HTML, CSS, and JavaScript will be able to do um, with Visual Studio Code. If you're on something other than Windows, these links will still work for you. And they will have the, um, the Mac set up and Linux set up as well. So go ahead and um, click on those links, and they'll take you to the right places. And just follow the instructions for your operating system. If you have any questions, uh, please leave, leave them in the comments below, and I'll get you answers, or maybe I'll make a follow-up post, um, a video to answer the question. All right, see you in the lessons.